Welcome back to Anime Beyond. Today we're going to react to My Hero episode 13 of season 5. Last week we finished up hearing that we might see Shinso join the hero team. We don't know which class, class A or class B yet. Bakugo try to force out Midoriya's quirk, mm -hmm. then talking with All Might and being like, you know, this is this is like all for one's quirk, kind yeah. of, sort of, you know, with all the different abilities now that you can use and potentially use in the future. We also got to see Eddie again for the first time this season. Eddie's back. Mono was trying to bring out her quirk and do it himself, but he couldn't. Another blank, which we learned what that meant. Him and uh, uh, Midoriya. Yeah, both blanks. blanks. Has something to do with, you know, drawing on power from something else. Kind of like Fat Gum. He has to yeah. have his fat stored up to be able to use his ability. And then at the end, we got to see Bakugo, Todoroki. They got their license and we saw him in action. Bakugo completely destroyed people. Dude, he, oh, yeah, he won. Yeah. He, like, he was solo. Like, Todoroki, not, nothing against Todoroki, but straight up Bakugo. I mean, he's here and then Todoroki's, you know, he's still catching up, bro. But Todoroki does have the power, though, because yeah. we saw the explosion. That oh, he yeah. Did, and then we also saw uh, he froze the whole lake of water. Yeah. But one thing after rewatching that episode that I think is going to be important, they talked about the support items. Now, I'm not 100% caught up on That's Fire right. Force anymore, but there was a thing in Fire Force, if you've seen it, between the F church, the, the ha Hajima company, and right, then right, right. I think like the firefighters. Yeah. So it was like, it's three different things, and the, the company was responsible for sending equipment mm -hmm. to the fire departments. And I think that this new company that's going to be doing support items I think they might have something to do with the black market that they talked about last week too. With those villains, they had their equipment from the black market. Hatsume is probably going to be part of that too because she is like, that's what she does. She's mm -hmm. part of that support group. So. Yeah, hopefully she will be, she's pretty funny. Her yeah. and then Yuraka together because Yuraka's always like thrown off by her. Yeah. But she just throws everybody off because she's <laughs> everywhere. Definitely interested to see this episode. So yeah, we're going to get right into it. Let's get it. Nine days till this day. Whoa, this... R Rapture? Oh, no. Are these Nomus? Yo, that's... They tearing it up. Well, the city was... It did look like it was oh, abandoned. This has to be either something with, uh... One for oh. all? Oh. 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 I'm thinking the gigantic guy, too. That we saw just a few episodes ago. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, okay. uh... Was that Shigaraki? Yeah, it was Shigaraki. That was... I, could, I couldn't I could see his chap lips. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just thinking about it. Man, they're already becoming famous. Look at that. More famous than... <laughs> 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 he loves that jacket. Oh, are they go are they going to teach him how to talk? <laughs> 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 he looks like a Minecraft character kind of so he that's what it is. Is it like the words look like Legos? I know. I was trying to see if they were making faces. <laughs> I love the out of breath thing. It's like they're acknowledging the quality heroes is still low. Oh. Oh, that was the lady who talked to Hawks. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait he a must minute. be telling them they need more heroes now. Yeah. Wow. Dang. Man, we could use Mirio right now. Why did he have to lose his quirk? Dang. I kind of want to be part of that. <laughs> Look at Marco. 
hate word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I would like to see him join Endeavor. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Aww. Hey. Trick or treat. <laughs> 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 She's celebrating every holiday in one. Oh, that's right. It's weird that they don't even go back to spend time with their families on Christmas. I know. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's like uh, Cloud's... Uh, that's what I... Yeah. Final Fantasy. Uh, you know, that was from Midoriya. <laughs> she got the sword. What? It's a very ominous thing to say. Yeah. If they all joined up. Oh, no way. For real? The number one. Dude! That's even better! Yes! That's even better. I wanted him to go there. I didn't think. I get... Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. I literally was concerning him going with Gene. I thought that would be cool. Yeah. But that's even better. Yeah, that's a lot that better. Even better. I mean, that's Man. like Gene. I was like, okay. Yeah. Settle for Gene. But nah, Endeavor, go ahead, bro. I mean, they claim to all want to be the number one hero. So let's see, man. You learn from the best. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. You gotta learn from the best. Let's go. I don't know where this is gonna go. It seems like we're gonna start getting League of Villains stuff again. Hawks is somehow warning, or for some reason, he's warning the heroes and being like, hey, yeah. you need to step up the amount of people we have. And I think the the people recognize it too, based off of the interviews and the, the news reports. They're like, hey, we need to hurry up and get these two students out there because, you know, they're doing a great job and look how they stopped this. Who was going to be the first hero that showed up to that scene? Slide and Go. Yeah. What was Slide and Go good at? I mean, exactly. he might have great right. powers, but. Ever since a Endeavor is being that first normal, you got to kind of think about it. Okay. They're kind of in development of something, the mm -hmm. League of Villains are. If they can do one, they can replicate that, create more and more and more. So, yeah, of course, there's going to be like a, a crisis situation because these these villains are getting smarter and creating stronger. So, like, of course, they're going to need more heroes. Maybe that's what he's warning about. I don't know. And this also might be because maybe in his mission, this is going to come to the point where he's going to have to prove to the villains that he's on their side yeah. and betray the heroes in front of everybody yeah. and lose credibility. And so that's going to be hard on the students too. Yeah. In Tokiyami and, and you know, these guys are going to be like scenes. Imagine that though. That's being in that position. That's... Yeah, not easy. Not easy. Taking one for the team for sure. That's 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 hard. So we saw Shikaraki right, in, in the beginning. Obviously, that's that's got to be part of the plan. And so I'm wondering like how... How is that part? But we also hear that they're trying to bust out all for one. At least, at least yeah, it seemed too. like it. Yeah. Or at least he knows something's happening. Yeah. Sheesh. <laughs> I'm glad that they have this time to kind of chill with you know this whole Christmas thing. But mm -hmm. you know they about to have a rude awakening. And that's the thing. At the beginning, when it said nine hours earlier, we didn't know this was happening. That countdown reminded me of last season in season four when they were doing the countdown to the rescue party. Countdown, countdown. And it's like, obviously, there's a very dark situation that happened there because Aerie was being really abused. Yeah. And then here, at the end of the episode, it's like, what a great Christmas party. I was I was hoping we'd have a great one next year. But it's like, it, I didn't know what was going to happen or something like that. I'm like, yeah. wait, what's going to happen? Like, yeah. why can't everybody celebrate together? Does that mean that the traitor is one of them? Yeah. Still. That's why I'm thinking Hawk. Well, I know. Oh, I don't know. Well, I'm thinking, is the traitor still in class one A? Oh, you think it's one A? Yeah, is there okay. one in class one A? I was thinking, what if Hawk? You think he's a, trip, a double agent or a triple agent? I guess. I was, I was, right. I was, I was like double. What, what if he a double or triple? Triple agent. Triple I guess. working for them, but acting like they're working for them, but actually working. For them. <laughs> who would it be on in class one A? Yeah. Who 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 would who would be the most suspected to, for it to be? Just because he's a perv, I would say Mineta. Blood Ultra. <laughs> but. Really? If it. I mean, I feel like the character that I know the least about. Okay. That would be interesting. I think it'd be Invisible see. Girl. I really don't know if I know anything about her. I was gonna take a sh kind of a risk in saying this. I was gonna say. 
it might be uh, Todoroki. And the only reason is because his dad mm -hmm. and Hawks are have connections, and he's kind of like the one who's training with his dad. Maybe his dad convinces him to. Now, are you but, saying as... I'm not saying, like, he actually is the enemy. I'm saying, like, he's got to act like the enemy. Oh, I was thinking you were saying who he's going to... Who do you... Like, if there is still a traitor at UA, who's the actual traitor? Because they talked about it. They said, all these guys seem like they have the hero hearts. Yeah. But... They, well, see, I'm wondering what they mean by traitor. Is it, like, traitor as in someone who, is a, who appears to be a traitor? I think it was... Or someone who is... Well, previously, someone was providing information where they were training in Season 1 when All Might wasn't there where the campgrounds was in season three when muscular and i all in invaded and took away Bakko. so someone was releasing information from class 1a they, i mean it could have been someone on staff but i think they thought it might be one of the students maybe maybe this episode kind of clears that up and says there are none of the students and it's and it is somebody from the staff but the way he worded it at the end ah, that just makes me think Maybe I'm just reading into that. Scene. I don't know. Maybe maybe I am just reading because he ended it with the, from the bottom of my heart. But why did he say at the time? I hope we can have such a great Christmas party like this again. Why would he not hope for that again? That makes me think like someone betrayed their trust. I, I can I can see that because if something drastically happens to someone that you trust, mm -hmm. and then you think that you you can just kind of just go back to that moment again like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not—it's not gonna be the same. You're gonna think, you're gonna start thinking, well, what if he, what if he's betraying me? Well, what, if, you know? Yeah. So yeah, I can kind of see that. And what if it isn't a traitor? What if it's just someone in the class actually dies? See, yeah, okay, yeah. But also, what if, what if it's that? No, no, I want that. No, are you, I, la, 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 la. are you trying to spoil? Something? No, no, I'm not. What if? No, it's none of them. But everybody suspects mm -hmm. it's one of them. But it's really none of them. And it, all this is to create division. Okay. And it creates some type of division between the group. Yeah, that would be, that would be something that I could see them doing because I mean they're already trying to among the people at least last season they're trying to break the, the trust. But it looks like the faith in the heroes is back, but or not really faith. It's more of like the encouragement because they're hoping they do good because they're seeing what can happen. Yeah. And we saw these two cities already were damaged and destroyed. So. Mm -hmm. Remember that time where Bakugo got taken from the League of Villains? Mm -hmm. What if he knows something from being taken from them and it's not saying anything about it? I just, I just thought about that because, and the, and the, if you think about it, other than probably Hawk, he would probably be the one who would know more about them because he spent time. He, they, he was captured by them mm -hmm. and he spent time with them. He it, could, he could have some information he that could he didn't have. tell him. I don't know. This is all, it's all speculation. It we is, don't know. Yeah. But it's it's worth it's worth pondering. It kind of was an email, an email. It was kind of an episode that all it did was really set up for the second core of the show. Yeah. Uh, it didn't really give you too much information. I guess the biggest, inf yeah, it was just all set up information, really. Yeah. Another thing is though they they did mention Eddie's horn is growing. Yeah. So it might come to the point where she doesn't have a choice. Her power is just gonna start flowing out of her. Yeah. Brain. It's only a matter of time. Yeah. Even I mean, there's nothing we can do because. We see that she's having a good time. She's not stressed. It doesn't seem like she's being stressed out. So it's mm -hmm. like, you know, I'm thinking about like how they can use that to their advantage. Eddie's horn. Yeah. I mean, of, of course, I don't know. Like she could go to those cities, right? Yeah. Go to those cities and it could rebuild. Yeah. Because she can reverse. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, I don't know. I feel like there's some there's some Ooh. things there. Maybe that's going to be kind of like the plot of the next arc. It's going to be destruction and uh, like creation, Restora yeah, restoration, yeah. Before creation comes destruction. Who says that? Alchemy. Beerus. Oh. Uh, I'm just kidding. All right. And um, now we're going to talk about Dragon Ball for the next 40 minutes. Hey, <laughs> chill, chill, chill. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Hey, why you got to throw me? Thank y'all for watching and supporting our channel. Don't forget to check out our social media accounts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about this episode, reaction, and review. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Rumble. And if you like us, you can follow our friends on YouTube as well. You got Jay Frizzle, Clammy, and Boxing for Gaming, Rich Aladdin for Short Films, or Text Away for Sermons, and Thought You Should Know Podcast that discusses all things mental health. With that said, I'm Devin. I'm Noah. And we'll see y'all next time. Peace! Peace.